It's a new year, new me. I'm vlogging every day of February, but I guess that means it's not a new me because I'm doing the exact same thing that I did in 2020. Oh God, that can't be good. Oh, good morning, good morning. So I'm doing Miranda video right now. I got to do some Zoom calls for the Valentine's Day show. If you haven't gotten tickets yet, this Sunday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, I'm doing a live show in my living room, just a fun little cute concert. One of the VIP ticket options was to do a Zoom call with me. So I did those Zoom calls on Saturday. And some people were like, you know, you shouldn't do the Zoom calls if you're going through some hard things. But for me, it was really great actually to do the Zoom calls because it got my mind off of everything that was going on. And I got to like focus on other people and hear about their lives and their struggles or their successes. And people were just really encouraging and sweet to me. At that point, no one really knew what I was going through. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a couple days ago I posted a video about some stuff I'm going through. Anyway, point is, there are some people who are like, Miranda videos always make me laugh and make me feel better. Uh, I've been feeling like kind of like bleh about doing uh, Miranda videos lately. Not because I don't love it. I really love doing Miranda. I don't know if people wanted to see it anymore. I don't know. So hearing people say that and like saying like they like Miranda and wanted me to make more videos, I was like, oh, it encouraged me and inspired me. So thank you to anyone who ever encourages me. Um, you're very sweet. I'm playing with Legos because I'm uncomfortable. I don't know why, um, but I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna film a video now. Bye. Corey is dying of laughter right now because he found a website called 61 Colleen Ballinger Sexy Picks. And here, well, I guess she's in her bathing suit like sexy, sexy. <laughs> I hate you. What? What's this? He's a freak is shaking. <laughs> I hate you. Ew. Oh. Sexy. That? Yes. Sexy. Oh. That's how you know someone's your best Look friend. And they this. literally, oh, no. they literally laugh at you. Laugh <laughs> at you when they look at sexy pictures of you. That a is a lot of them are sexy. Look, that's a sexy. Oh my god. Wow, is that sexy? That's sexy. Ooh! Ooh. Drinking Starbucks so sexy. sexy. <laughs> I hate you. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> He's such a no. Oh my god. Alright, I'm almost done filming Miranda videos, but uh, I need to go get my kid. I think he's awake. Okay, I'm done filming my Miranda video, but now I need to film the Valentine's Day VIP videos as Miranda, that I'm doing as Miranda, but I just need to vent. Last week I uploaded a video and I sang some like Broadway show tunes in them, like literally two seconds. I'm not kidding, I would be like, I can't even do it right now, <laughs> but let's say a song goes like this. You are beautiful and I love you. I wrote that, so don't come for me. I literally sang like this much of a song. I was like, you are, that's it. I got a copyright claim and demonetized. So I trimmed out that part of the video. It's like I sing a bunch of Broadway songs, but I only sing like a couple seconds of each one. So like the same song, it'd be like if I was like, you are beautiful. And then they'd be like, do you guys know what that's from? And um, yeah, I got the money just taken away. And they're like, you can't sing other people's songs. So I didn't realize, I knew you couldn't like make money on videos if you literally use someone else's song, but I didn't know that you couldn't sing like half a sentence of a song. Like that's wild. I didn't know it was that intense. So you will never hear me sing on this channel again, unless I'm purposefully trying to like, I know I'm not gonna get monetized and I just don't care. But yeah, isn't that crazy? And so another thing that happened that is infuriating and I've reached out to YouTube and I'm hoping to get it fixed. This is like, if this isn't get fixed, I, I hate that I'm talking about this as Miranda right now because I wanna be taken seriously and like literally how am I gonna be taken seriously? But my video of me giving birth to Flynn, it's called the birth of my son, has been taken down because it is inappropriate content. The birth of my son, I don't show you my area, my lady bits. You don't see anything. You don't see the baby's nakedness. You don't see my nakedness. You see nothing of the sort. It is just a sweet video of the day that I went into labor, went to the hospital and met my son. And it was taken down because it was deemed inappropriate. Yet there are videos on YouTube of people talking about having sex, which there's nothing wrong with, I'm not shaming this. Um, videos of people doing like bikini hauls, again, not shaming it, showing their whole body in a sexual way, making out with each other, talking about like story times about sexual scandals. I've done videos as Miranda that are super inappropriate, like weird behavior and like weird content. As me, I have like literally talked about what I went through the couple, couple days ago, which is very, um, shouldn't be demonetized. None of these things should be demonetized, by the way. I'm just saying like there is content 
content on the internet that is much more mature and much more inappropriate. How is me having a baby, which is everyone goes through that because to be a human, you have to have been birthed. How? Is that inappropriate? What are you talking about? So anyway, I've reached out to some people at YouTube and they were like, we obviously, this is not inappropriate. We're having it reviewed and don't worry, like we're, we'll be on this and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Like they're being very nice to people I'm talking to. If it doesn't get fixed, like if they keep it as like not being allowed to be on the internet, I am going to roll with it. <laughs> Cause that is misogyny at its finest. And you might not think that, but it is. It is complete sexism and misogyny to say that a woman, it's gr ew yucky, a woman giving birth, gross. That is inappropriate, but women can show their bodies in a sexual way online and that's fine. If that is fully like stays off the internet, I'm going to be very upset. So hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully it gets fixed. <laughs> this isn't the first time something like this has happened with YouTube where they, I mean, I've talked about um, pregnancy and the videos have been taken down or demonetized. I've talked about breastfeeding and videos have been taken down or demonetized because they deem them inappropriate. I'm not on like the kids part of YouTube. Like it's not, oh no, kids are gonna watch this. And even if kids did, what, what is wrong with a kid, which it's not, this isn't even an issue, but what is wrong with a child seeing a woman say, oh, I'm in labor and now I'm gonna go to the hospital and I'm gonna give birth to my son. And you don't see that happen. You just see me like meet him and like love him. Like, where is the problem? What is inappropriate about that? What is gross about that? I am very unhappy about that decision from YouTube. And I really hope it was an error on the mechanical side. Like, I hope it was just like a computer error and that it just gets fixed. Cause if it doesn't, you'll be hearing from my lawyers. And by lawyers, I mean me. Okay, bye. Na 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 Fun. Skid steer is always having fun. <laughs> Playing with the skid steer. How many people out there didn't know what a skid steer was until Flynn told you? Because I didn't know what a skid steer was until Flynn told me. No. Oh no. I got the over. Yeah. Fun. I've been working all day. Eric and Flynn went to the park. Skid steer is always having fun. Oh na 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 um, anyway, Eric and Flynn went to the park and fed the ducks while I got some work done. And um, yeah, nothing really to report, except my kid is pretty cool. Flynn loves tunnels now, huh, Flynn? You love a tunnel? Yeah. So I think we should make a tunnel. Should we make a tunnel? Yeah. We're gonna make a tunnel. We gotta push this over. Will you help me push this, Flynn? One, two. <laughs> we did it. I did it. All right. It's just like a fort, but for Flynn, he really likes tunnel trucks, which I don't even know what a tunnel truck is. What is a tunnel truck? What's a tunnel truck, Flynn? Oh, okay. <gasps> Did you show Dada the tunnel? I'll tell Daddy about the tunnel. Yeah. Dada! Yeah. It's a tunnel! Yeah. <gasps> 
I saw a hack that if you have an empty jar of peanut butter, kind of empty jar, it's like pretty empty, you can spin it and all the peanut butter will go to the top. Have you heard of this? I'm gonna try it. We've been spinning it for a while. It's time to check. Flynn, can you grab it for me? You get it? Bring it to mama. Okay, open it. You wanna open it? Baby, check. Okay, baby, we'll check. Let's check inside. It's <gasps> empty. It's empty. <laughs> and it's fucking empty. It's empty, huh? Does it smell good? Yeah, does it smell? Dad, does it smell it? It does smell good. It I mean, smells like a, good. You see how there's like a, around the... Yeah, you can see like around the top, there's like a little bit that came forward, but... It's like a half empty jar. You like can do it. Okay. Never mind. Now Eric's trying a different peanut butter jar. Is that one empty or full? This one was like a quarter full. Oh, she's bringing a mama. Oh, thank you. Can you bring it to Dada? It's mama. She's trying to bring mama. Thank you for bringing it to mama. Can you give it to Dada? He's spinning it. No, we're starting to open mama. Mama, it's not time to open. Yeah. <laughs> we have to spin it first. Let Daddy spin it, and then we'll open it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. okay, come over here. Eric's determined to make it work. So now he's got a new peanut butter jar he's spinning that has a little bit more peanut butter in it. How's it going? I'm sweating. Sweating. Woo! <laughs> okay, take two. You should open it. You want me to open it? Oh, the fun. Oh. I see what they're. Yeah, I, I can see how it eventually would. Because now you can just scoop a little. Oh, no, it's on the cap. It's empty. Should I make some power balls? <laughs> what is my kid? You're so funny. Come on, Daisy. Just giving her cuddles on the stairs. Okay. Flynn and Duncan are on FaceTime, and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. You guys, I just read a tweet that might change my life. Okay, so I was going through Twitter and most of Twitter right now is just like, you guys are being very sweet, very loving and supportive of me and like the stuff I'm going through, which thank you so much. But this one tweet stood out to me because it was not that. It was not all of the very supportive kind tweets. It says, Colleen, and then tagged this like company and said this company has, for your brown hair, they make a purple for dark hair that is semi-permanent. Get out of here. This is a dream come true. Okay, so the reason I am too scared to dye my hair purple, if you guys know me at all, you know I really want to dye my hair purple. I wanted to dye my hair purple for way too long. I don't know why. I just think it would be fun. I've never done anything different with my hair. This is what I do with my hair every day. It's just a side part. And yeah, sometimes I do the middle part just so y'all don't bully me. But like we can all collectively agree that like this is not good. I look like those ugly dogs that have like the really long like hair and the long faces. Like this is not it. Sometimes you do see me with that middle part. And it's because I don't want to get bullied. The side part for me and my face shape is where it's at. Anyway, this is what my hair looks like forever. And I just wanna do something different. I'm really close to cutting bangs again. I know y'all don't want me to, but also I'm tempted to dye my hair. The reason I won't do it is because I don't wanna bleach my hair. And since I have very dark hair, I would have to bleach it in order to make it any other color. I can either do this color or I can make it like black or a darker brown, but like, I don't wanna do that because I'm just not interested. Like, who cares? It's not different enough for me to wanna do it. But if there's a purple hair dye and I don't need to bleach my hair first, I need to do some research. What? You wanna try something bright, but don't wanna damage and dry your hair with bleach? Try our brown line. To learn more, head over to our blog about cold weather hair maintenance. <gasps> what do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna go look into this. I'll be right back. There is no way. 
There's no way. This website, this is not a sponsorship. I don't know anything about this company. It could be the worst company in the world. I don't know. I know nothing about them. It's called Overtone. And literally it says, oh wait, mm -hmm. no. It says purple for brown hair. And now I'm looking at it, I don't know about this. So they have, they literally have every color for people with brown hair. They have blue and purple. Purple's not quite the color I want. Pink, pink looks kind of cool. Now you'll know it's not a brand deal because I'm not like saying raving reviews, but they have purple for brown hair. But like, look at the before and after, okay? So this is the brown they have and this is the purple. And it's like the brown is first of all, like a really light brown. And the purple is also like so dark. You like can't even really see it. It just kind of looks like black to me. And my hair is not light brown, it's dark brown. So I don't think this is going to work on me. Purple for brown hair. <gasps> Wait, they have different, get out of here. There's no way this works. Wait, I'm scared. Is this permanent? Wait, am I gonna do it? Hold on, I'm very confused. I'm scared. Uh, wait, it does it in three to 15 minutes? <gasps> I'm scared. Wait, the pictures of people with it look cute. Oh no, uh, I'm like another purple hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. I mean, I can always dye it back brown if I don't like the purple, right? I don't know. I'm like really scared of that. Like what if I dye it purple and it's like a total disaster, which it very much could be. And then I can't dye it. Like, can you dye it brown right after? Cause like, look at this. See like that is it. Like that's pretty, but I don't want it to be like this color. Like I like the like light purple. So I feel like in order to get that like light purple color, I have to have my hair bleached first. I'm pretty sure. Okay, here's a review. I've had essentially the same long natural brown hair for 18 years. Same. Overtone purple for brown hair was the perfect transformation for me. I got a professional blonde highlights in my hair in advance. I'm not doing that. So that I would have some bright streaks. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna be, oh yeah, see, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, see this girl, she posted a picture and her hair is still brown except for where she put the bleached parts. So I don't know about this. Now maybe this is a horrible idea, but like I still want to do it. <laughs> see some people's hair looks brown and then some people's doesn't. Like what if I tried to do it and then it didn't look brown and it just looked like poopy colored. See, that's pretty. How did this person do it? Used on highlighted hair. See your hair has to be bleached first. That's what I'm freaking saying. You can't dye your hair a color if it's already brown. You have to bleach it first. Even though all these people are saying that they did, no, it doesn't work. But like I kind of still want to try. Maybe I do a different color. Maybe purple's too weird. My hair was mostly brown from with highlights. Ah, there's gotta be someone who's like, I have dark hair. Yeah, shows up well on my highlights. Yeah, it looks like it only works on freaking people with light hair. So don't even come for us and tell us brunettes that we can dye our hair a color without bleaching it first. You can't. These girls with brown hair are like, yeah, it totally worked on my brown hair. It only worked on the parts where I had bleached highlights. But other than that, it totally worked. <laughs> I have very dark brown hair, but I had it balayaged four months ago and the purple worked on that part. Like, come on. I mean, I could do it and just do it like on a little bit of my hair and like just see what happens. Like just like a chunk. And just see. I'm just scared because it looks different on everyone. Like some people it looks like really vibrant and pretty and like bright purple and some people it just kind of looks not very good. I'm not gonna show you those pictures because I don't want to call anyone out. I don't know what to do. Should I dye my hair purple? Should I just buy it and like have it in my house and then one night when I'm having like a mental breakdown I just dye my hair purple? I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna buy it and it will just be in my house and then randomly one night when I have a breakdown I'll end up with purple hair. Like that seems cool, right? Like <laughs> I kind of want to do it. I'm in quarantine. I don't see anyone in person. Like I just see you guys online and you guys will make fun of me if my hair is brown or purple. So who cares? Oh, sometimes it looks really bad though. <laughs> like I'm just going through all the pictures and the reviews and some of the pictures like bomb. And then some of the pictures are like, oh no, what did you do to your hair? And I just know that's how it would look on me. I just know I would look so bad with it. Like I just, we all know it would look bad on me, right? Like we're, we all agree. My hair wouldn't take it. So then my hair would just look like this color, but with like a weird maroony reddish like undertone when the light hits it. You know what I mean? Like that's what I think would happen. Oh no, that looks very bad. <gasps> hmm, I still want to do it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna buy purple hair dye, guys. And you guys will all make fun of me and talk me out of it. So it probably won't even happen. But like, if it washes out, what difference does it make? If it's just gonna wash out anyway, then it'll, it'll just be funny that there will be like two weeks of vlogs where I have like purplish hair. I do not believe that this will work. Like this is a lie. There is no way that my hair would be purple. Like it just wouldn't happen. Anyway, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Thanks for watching the vlog today. I hope you're doing great. I am doing great. I'm doing much better than I was.
was doing. I still have moments. Eric still has moments of sadness, but overall we are good. Thanks for the love and support. We're at a point where we just kind of want to like grieve and deal with it privately and just try to like be positive and happy in general in life. So like I'm looking forward to the Valentine's Day show and I want you guys to be happy and positive. I don't want anyone to worry or freak out or anything like all as well. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, we forgot to do Advent today. So we'll have to do that tomorrow. Double the whammy tomorrow. Okay, love you, bye.